You're back again? How is this possible? I will take care of you permanently! You oh, wait a minute, I said that last time. I wouldn't want to sound like a video game cliche. Let me try that again. This time, I will take care of you once and for all! Pocus? Pocus! Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming at you guys with it is hopefully the last part of Spiral Into the Dragonfly. We found a challenge portal here in the last episode while we were getting those potions. So we'll see what's over here. We, had, we got another 161 gems since we went to the slide. We only have... Really? We only have 68 or uh, 88 gems left? Welcome to the Tower of Scary and Ridiculous Heights! <laughs> Climb to the top of the tower, you will prove yourself worthy of the tower's secret treasure. Why a tower exists in the middle of the jungle is a secret hidden away ages ago. Oh boy. Uh, this does not look fun. Also, the fact that they have a cutscene for this is kind of interesting. Also, the fact that it has black bars is also one of the only cutscenes in the game. Alright, I don't care what you have to say. Oh, you automatically bring me over. Okay. Oh wait, there's a time limit? Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Also, what are these spiders patterns like? Oh, okay, they just go back and forth on a specific set pattern. Nice to know. Oh, lordy dordy. No! Oh, okay, there's a, like a mini checkpoint right here. That's good to know. Wait, how am I supposed to- oh. I can kind of just cheese it, whoa. Oh, I get it. Taking damage causes it to, uh, really mess with it. Oh, we did it. That was actually easy. That was terrific, Spiral. I've never seen anyone get up here before. Really? Then how did you get up here? Oh, that. Well, there's a hidden elevator that only I know how to find. But anyway, uh, you'll have to keep it a secret. But there's not really any treasure up here. I never actually thought that anyone could get to the top. What? So I did all that for nothing? Well, I guess I should give you something. It's not much, but I found this dragonfly hiding in my secret elevator here. All right, thank you for the dragonfly. Let's see what we got. Warren. Hey, it's Warren. I don't have any more to No, I didn't want to climb the ladder game. Sheesh. Alright, I want to give up, man. I don't... It's not that I it thought it was hard. I just didn't want to do it anymore. Like, why would I ever do it again if that's it? I can't believe we have less than 100 gems, though. Like I said, that one area that we got to in the last episode at the very end had way too many collectibles all at once. Like, there was way too many. And I think that kind of made the game bad, was the simple fact that they had so many collectibles all in one area. Alright, I don't think we need to deal with these guys anymore, I don't think. No, it doesn't look like they drop potions anymore, so it looks like we can go back. Oh, we'll find this guy just in case, I guess, I don't know. Kinda interesting they've come back, but let's see if we can get our thing from this guy. Mr. Dude Guy Person, hello. Great 
jump sparrow. <laughs> you found them all. Here, I found this dragonfly under some broken equipment I found in my lab. You can have it. Thank you, Jason Voorhees. Hey, it's Jason. You sounded so like unenthusiastic about finding Jason. What did Jason ever do to you, Spyro? Huh? Wait. Also, do I have to re-kill these guys? Okay, no. You don't have to re-kill the ones that you've already killed. That's good to know. Whoa, what the heck was that? Also, we need to go back to Electric Breath, I'm pretty sure, just in case we run into the big guys. But wait, there's another checkpoint here? At the very end of the level? And there's a thief, which means he'll drop something that we need. Oh wait, maybe this isn't the end of the level. Actually, judging by how many gems are left, I think it is. Why is this thief so big, by the way? Come back here, sir. Aw, oh, man, we're gonna have to go back and get more invincibility, because... Boy almighty, he, uh... He is a fast little bugger. Uh, wait, there's an invincibility thing over there, too. I'm assuming what we need is, is for this guy. Come on, dude, really? This spiral! That bad old thief over there stole something from me! Can you believe that? He stole the biomolecular hologram projector from me! <laughs> okay, whatever. I really don't care what he stole from you, other than the fact that he stole something from you and we need to get it. Also, how is he running on the lava? Are they made of lava in this? Wait, is that technically the next area right there too? Come on, sir. We don't got all day. There we go. Oh, go! Go! Oh, thank God. That's so weird. Bonky. Hey, it's bonky. He also didn't have any audio there. But now I think we just have, what, one dragonfly left and it's the end of the level, so... Also, weird that the invincibility thing would be, like, right here and then another one right here. Alright, let's grab these gems, which sadly aren't all the gems, but what's this guy have to say? Why is there another mouse here? Spyro, you made it! Great job! Uh, it was no sweat. As a reward for your heroic efforts, and in the name of good science, please accept this as a reward. Wonky! It's Wait, we didn't have to kill all the Riptox? I thought we didn't kill them all. We're still missing some gems, though, so... Is this back at the very beginning, or...? No, it's not! Night. Whoa, okay. Wait, did we actually 100% the level that I never thought I 100%ed? Wait! That green gem was worth one! That was weird! So yeah, only eight- Wait a minute, what? Uh... Uh... There were more gems here than there were... Total. Weird. Anyways, we beat the level! In eight minutes. So that level only took about maybe half an hour tops? If we had no- Actually, we didn't die. Yeah, that level took about half an hour. I guess that's about average. But it was really easy. Now we just have to defeat the final boss, which I do think requires you to use all your breath types, and then we're done. This Let's Play will be done, and we've only been recording for less than two hours, so... Nice. The last four parts of this series, I knew it. When I said to my uh, subscribers that it was only... Or my Discord that... Oh, the game broke again. Great.
I'll have to cut it here again and uh, meet you guys when we get to the boss. Yay for the game breaking. Alrighty, so I made it here to the uh, boss portal. Yeah, hopefully the game doesn't freeze when we're loading into this level now too. Because that Jurassic Jungle, I think we had that issue once, one other time in this Let's Play, where a level would both crash when entering it and exiting it, but technically it would save you once you were in whatever level you were going to. And yeah, here we go. Here's the final boss. You're back again? How is this possible? I will take care of you permanently! You oh, wait a minute, I said that last time. I wouldn't want to sound like a video game cliché. Let me try that again. This time, I will take care of you once and for all! Focus! Focus! Now, I remember this boss being like a total pain in the butt to beat. Because, like, it requires you to use, like, different breath types, so... Oh yeah, I forgot to grab health before this fight. Okay, yeah, I don't rem I don't... Wait, why do those home in on me? See, the quicker you are... The less of a chance he has to actually hit you. So this boss is all about being Speedy Gonzalez for whatever silly reason. Focus, focus. How many hocus to pocuses are you gonna do now, man? Alright, so it looks like now we have to hit him with uh, ice breath. All he did though was make himself like really big and awkward to like. Like, is this what you call a boss dude? Like, really? Did we beat him yet? <laughs> you purple pest! You may have defeated me this time, but I'll be back and stronger than ever! Um, less than a two minute boss battle? Well, there it is, go! With that done, we have officially beat Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Now, what do I think of this game? What do I give it out of a 10? Um, honestly, probably a 3. It had a lot of good ideas. Also, I just realized a lot of those names are Japanese, which is interesting. Considering, I guess that's where a lot of the names came from, eh? It was like Japanese names and English names and stuff like that. But honestly, the game was a good idea and could have been so much better if the de the uh, game developers actually agreed on the same things and if they didn't um, blow their budget on stupidity. Like, it was just a mess. It all started off with the higher-ups. The game was supposed to have, like I said, Nasty Nork, Sorceress, Ripto, Gulp, Crush, all of them planning to defeat Sprout because they couldn't do it on their own, so they did that. It was also supposed to include Ember and Flame as characters as well as playable characters, but that was scrapped and then later added to a Hero's Tale. So what it seems like is Hero's Tale and Enter the Dragonfly were not supposed to be separate games. But what happened is when this game, like this game's developers uh, lost their jobs, they moved on to other games, but in doing so, a lot of them went on to work on Spyro Heroes Tale, which in my opinion is a better game, but overall not better than this game in a lot of aspects. I don't like that it loses the the feeling of Spyro. Light Gems just felt like they were kind of there, the characters were kind of forced, they tried making the game way too comedic for what it was. It really wasn't that good. 
and that was a problem because not a lot of people really like this game and the sad part is is this game had a lot of good ideas i always wanted a spyro game where all the villains came back though technically speaking if any of them should be dead it's ripto like nasty narc we flamed his butt once okay cool that that defeated him uh ripto fell into lava and then the floor was resealed over top of his body now, oh, I guess Tom Kenny did voice him, that's funny. And Greg Berger was still Hunter. And no idea who, like, like, the actors are still the same, but... It was weird. Uh, Billy West was in here, too. Uh, that's pretty cool. But like I said, um, and the Sorceress, we knew that she could survive lava, so sending her into the lava again at the end of Spiral 3 might not have actually killed her. It just made might have made her weak enough where she had to go and hide because she was using the power of dragons to, you know, stay alive. If it wasn't for the dragons, she would have been dead a long time ago. And then the dragons kind of moved back into the Forgotten Realms, so, yeah. I, I would kind of like a Spyro game that is on the longer side. You know, maybe take a few years to develop it, but have it so... You know, you kind of go to Avalar, the Dragon Realms, both the Forgotten and regular but have them like being completely destroyed or something not just enemies taking over like i mean they actually laid waste to a lot of them and maybe even pit the dragons against each other have like a new boss that's stronger than the other three you know kind of controlling them manipulating them to do what he wants or she wants they want whatever anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this let's play and uh yeah i'll See you guys next time for a new Let's Play. I don't actually know what I'm planning on playing after this. I still have to finish End the Insane Trilogy, the Reignited Trilogy, um, Fairly Odd Parents, and Wrath of Cortex. But I hope you guys had fun with this as much as I did. Your work is you. Don't let, don't let you down. That seems kind of forced, but thank you. Thank you for giving me those wise words of wisdom, a game that the developers no longer exist. Equinox with an E on the end doesn't exist anymore. Equinox as a company exists, just not that. But yeah, man, this episode, uh, yeah, I hope you guys had fun. I'll see you guys all next time. And uh, yeah, join the Discord Patreon in the links below. And uh, yeah, you guys could vote for whatever game I want before I get the next one up. So hope you guys do. Bye-bye.